If you guys want a quick, easy chicken alfredo meal, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go take a look. Welcome back. Now let's get cooking with TGG. The hardest part of starting a YouTube channel is getting that first 1,000 subscribers. This is my second channel I'm trying to start, so if you could please go down there and hit the subscribe button. You can hit the bell notification to let you know when I do new videos. But I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take the extra second. You really help me out. Hit my 1,000 subscribers. Tonight, we are actually going to use fresh chicken. One of the first times on Cooking with TGG. All right, there's three of us, so I'm going to do four chicken breasts. What you'll note in my family, you see how there's no fat. These are all trimmed. If I, get, if I can find and buy trimmed chicken, we're going to do it in my household because they will absolutely not eat anything with fat, gristle, tendons, cartilage, anything like that. they got to be absolutely clean chicken breasts. I'll still clean these up anyway. So first thing you want to do, we're doing four chicken breasts for three people. For four people, I would recommend four to five, of course, depending on who's eating. First thing we want to do is cube up our chicken. One thing I always do, you got to smell the chicken. Jackie, smell the chicken. I don't, I don't No, here, watch. Jackie, smell the chicken. How's it smell? Does it have any smell at all? No. No. Okay, no smell. All kidding aside, smell your chicken first. If it gets a little bit, if you got a day or two, three in the fridge, they say one to two days for fresh chicken. But you, you will, as it starts to get rancid, you'll smell something bad to it and don't use it. These smell good. This is your tenderloin right here on this side, and there is that uh, tendon right there or a cartilage through there that makes it a little bit chewy. So what I always do is I come along the edge here and I cut that out, right? So now there's your chicken tenderloin. So we'll do that first. We'll separate them, right? Come down the line there. There's our tenderloins. And I know it sounds crazy. Do I have to do this because you're cutting it up into cubes? No, absolutely not. But like I said before, my family is really anal about the chicken they eat. So I always cut along the line that you can see. And there's your chicken tenderloin. Now you want to cube up the chicken. Not too big because it will get too chewy and tough when you're cooking. So we're going to keep them about mm, three quarter to an inch is what I do. About right there. Watch your fingers. All right, the chicken is cut. We got the tenderloins, we got the regular breasts. We're gonna mix them all together. It doesn't matter, bing, bang, boom. Chicken's chicken, right? Jackie? Right. Okay. I gotta tell you, my princess. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. Uh, my wife, Jackie, the GG, JGG. So JGG bought me a brand new bottle. Whoa! Whoa. Take it easy. <laughs> She bought me a brand new bottle of olive oil, and I am fired up. As you can see, I'm pumped. It's just extra bird. It just doesn't matter. It's Is just, this expensive? It's just olive oil. Is it a <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to turn our stove on right here, and we're going to turn it about, uh, not on a high. I'm going to back it down to about 8.5 if you got the electric stove. All right, we put a little bit of olive oil in that we talked about, right? A little bit. Whoop. Here's that. We're gonna make sure that gets nice and warm. I almost want to sear it a little bit on the outside, then I'll turn the temp down and make sure the inside stays nice and moist and not real tough and chewy. Let's we'll put our chicken in. You hear those chickens uh, screaming. There you go, I'm allowed to use steel on steel here. All right, she's sizzling. This is my go-to. I always put black pepper, especially ground. I don't use the white pepper because that's a little bit, uh, it's got a different flavor, different heat to it. But I do like my peppercorn right here. Garlic is a necessity in our household. I love garlic as long as I get more in a pan than on my stove. Just a hint of onion because onion just smells good when you're cooking. And then we give a little bit of salt. Bam. Move it around. And then eventually, once everything is seared here, the seal on the flavors will turn the heat down. You can see there we got some color now. We got a little bit of the flavor starting to soak in. We turn it down to four and a half. We're going to let that just sort of sit and heat up. Make sure you get your water started at this time for your penne, regatta, spaghetti noodles, whatever noodles you want to do. Um, so we're going to keep this cooked and we're going to heat our water. Then we're going to talk sauce, the secret sauce. 
four and a half still. We're going to cover that up and I'm actually going to turn that thing down to about three and a half. That way it'll get a nice moist cooking area. It'll stay juicy. I don't know about you at home, but I like to add a little bit of olive oil. Whoa, that was a little much. But I like to, <laughs> I like to add a little bit of olive oil to my noodles. That way they don't stick. Again, here goes the salt. You got to add a little bit of flavor to your water, right? So the noodles have a little bit of flavor coming out. Still waiting for that to boil. We'll check our meat. See how our meat's doing. That's three and a half. Starting to look really nice. Staying juicy. You can see I'll cut a piece here. See that? See if I can cut this piece right here. See that? There's where it looks right there. Pretty much getting close to being cooked here. Give that a few more minutes before we put in the secret sauce. All right, in TGG's house, we do the penne regatte, penne. We do the penne regatte. We're gonna pour those in there. We wanna stir right away because even though I have oil, they could stick and that would be bad. If they stick to the bottom of the pan, that would be even worse because Jackie would have to do what? The dishes. Well, Clean it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a watch pot never boils. And, and you also burn your eyes. <laughs> okay, we're ready for the secret sauce. Are you guys ready at home? Drum roll, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fresh, never frozen, TGG. There it is, classico, baby. We're talking creamy Alfredo. All kidding aside here, folks. We're in a hurry, right? We've got busy lives. We're gonna pour a little. I don't even pour it all in there, okay? I'm gonna leave about a quarter of it in there. Here's where it gets sort of secret. We're going to add some stuff to that. I'll be right back. So as you pour that in, you sort of mix that around. You get it going up and down, all around, jingle bell. No, I'm kidding. Next, we're going to take half a stick of butter or three quarters. <laughs> we're going to microwave that butter. You say why? I say because. All right, you got to have butter, right? Because if you add butter to stuff, oh my goodness, what are we doing? You add butter to everything, it tastes good. Mwah, butter. You got a grater, Jackie? It's, it's in the can, <laughs> folks. You don't need, here, get the grater. Here, make sure you get a grater and grate your fresh cheese. That is just stupid. You can zoom in if you want. Noodles are getting there. I like El Dante. I like them a little bit crunchy. Some people let these suckers get so soft and mushy they just fall apart. I like the al dente. All right, here's the first taste test. Jackie, what is it? It's chicken alfredo. That's true. Tell me how it tastes. It's delicious. How, are you sure it's done? Yeah. Really good. How good? Re really good. Like really good? Yeah, are we doing broccoli? Yeah, like T. Don't tell everybody at home. Like TGG approved. And because we're always fresh and never frozen, we got to prepare our broccoli for the chicken Alfredo. It's going to be a nice topper on top of the pasta and chicken. Let's get it prepared. All right, time to get the fresh broccoli. <laughs> Psych! Fresh broccoli, baby. I saved that for another day. Try to get your noodles as dry as you can because you leave the water on there. It'll water down your sauce and it won't stick to the noodles. Get them into your pan and really quick. I actually took it off the heat. Get some of your sauce here. And you want to pour some sauce in there so the noodles don't totally stick together, right? So get that broccoli in there. You're good to go. Put a little bit of cheese on that bad boy. Please, let's take a bite. I'm sure it's hot, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Delish. Chicken is very tender. That was the word I was looking for earlier. Mmm. Not too much butter. Not too much salt. Mm, so good. You know, something about microwave broccoli it's just softer. I think it fits with this dish better. I like my noodles a little al dente. Mm. But I think it makes it. I think it's a fine dish. Quick and easy. All right, Jackie, what do you think? I've already tried it. Yeah, but you didn't try it when it was done. Very good. Very good. What's it taste like? Um, delicious. Like what though? Like Chicken Alfredo. Okay. 
But you know I like Olive Garden chicken Alfredo. Yeah. Um, but this is this is way better. Way better, she says. Is that just for film? No. All right. <laughs> Here it goes. All right, Jimmy. Come on, be honest. Really? What do you think? It I want your like? honest. The noodles are cold. And... Noodles are cold. What else? That's good. Many, many words. There you go, Jimmy. Your critique. Cook fresh, cook often, and keep cooking with TGG.